What's up job hunters? I'm Jonathan from Maple Career here with another how-to guide. Today we'll be covering the question, where do you see yourself in five years? Now, as we always do, let's go into the interviewer's head on this question. The employer here wants to know whether you're in it for the long haul. Nobody likes a stepping stone, companies included. Additionally, the interviewer wants to get an idea of the level of ambition that you have and how much you understand the role and the company. So, you can imagine that a wrong answer here could really ruin your chances of getting the job in this hyper-competitive job market. The interviewer doesn't really care what's going to happen in 1800 days, whether you're going to have worked on 10 projects or two. That's just too hard to tell. Don't spend too much time on that. Additionally, don't try to overdo the ambition part. You can show your desire to advance, but only at the discretion of the company. This allows the interviewer to see your ambition without the entitlement and the high pressure demand for advancement. So let's get started with the winning formula for this question. First, reassure the interviewer. Employers are aware that they're going to invest significant resources into your development and support. So they want to know that you have at least the intention of sticking around in the long haul. So say something that shows that you have the goal to grow and contribute to the company over the long term. So first off, I want to say that I'm so excited to be here today applying for this position. Do the kind of work that I'd be doing. I could see myself doing this work for a really long time. Part of wanting to stick around means being motivated and excited about the role. So try to kick your enthusiasm up a notch in the interview and show them that you want the job the most out of all the candidates. Watch your body language. Are you sitting forward and straight, hands out on the table, smiling and speaking out loud? So in five years, I want to have contributed enough to the company that I'll be considered for more responsibility and maybe even a leadership role in the marketing organization if the company believes that I'm the right fit. Personally, I have no doubt that I am because I'm extremely passionate about what our company does. Finally, tailor your goals to the company. This is the move that can set you apart from 95% of the other candidates and help you ace this question. Before the interview, do your research on not just the role, but also the company's structure and opportunities for growth. Then tell the interviewer how you plan on succeeding within the company's unique environment based on what you've learned about their company structure. The interviewer will be impressed guaranteed. So, I'm aware that this company and this organization splits marketing into the advertising side and the brand marketing side. In terms of my own goals, I'd really love to get to know both sides of those businesses. So working cross-functionally with both our internal teams as well as the agency side. And I'm really hopeful that I'll be able to grow within this company, even though my role today will be to apply for this position. Uh, I believe that with my consistent high performance, I will be someday on the wall of fame. So there you have it. We've just learned how to answer the question of where do you see yourself in five years? Hopefully it helped. If you like this video and you want to hear more answers to commonly asked interview questions, please subscribe to our account and follow us. For everyone here at Maple Career, I'm Jonathan, wishing you a happy job hunt.